Hi, uh, my name is Lauren Boyle. I am one of the four members of DIS. So DIS is a collective uh, from New York. We started as a magazine, one that involved a revolving door cast of artists and stylists and writers and musicians um, that was really just like a big community. The name DIS, it's not an acronym, it's just DIS, it's a prefix. Uh, for us, when we, started the, when we started the magazine, we were really thinking about being a bit antagonistic. At one point we thought we were going to be like a totally negative publication, but that didn't last. That didn't really work for us, you know? But, you know, we thought about distaste and dystopia and all these things that were kind of counter to um, what was perceived as high-end or luxury or this or that. So it was always a kind of rebuff. It served us really well because, you know, I mean, disruption was not the word it was, it is today, you know, in 2010. I mean, we have, they just like started Twitter, you know, back then. We were trying to think about how can we reach more people? How can we, you know, take the conversations that are bubbling up in contemporary art and culture and technology and make them more accessible without simplifying them and without dumbing them down. We were thinking about what does PBS look like for Gen Z? Could we kind of come up with a, a new form of entertainment um, that is educational? Like something Century of the South meets Sesame Street or an art school that you could stream. It's an incredible opportunity to, to take that whole wall and do something that, that makes a big impact, you know? I mean, we love a lobby, you know? We love being like in a place of, you know, transition and movement rather than being in necessarily like a white cube environment. I think that the giant screen really suits this work and we love the way that it almost feels like a billboard inside and the way that that kind of, you know, feels in the space.